Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I'll be showing you how you can easily create a custom header and footer template using Elements Kit or Elementor add-on. Well friends, when you design the website with the free version of Elementor Page Builder, you can't create custom header and footer template. And here goes the solution, Elements Kit, Elementor add-on. Using this add-on and even with the free version, you can create beautiful header and footer layout. So let's get to be started. And let me show the header and footer template I will design. Here goes a professional header template. On the left, here you can see logo, navigation menu, and social media icon. And here goes the footer template that I will design. Okay. And all this job in three basic steps. Firstly, I will install this add on plugin. And secondly, I will just create header and footer template and finally I will design the templates. Okay, and make sure you have already installed Elementor Page Builder on your website. So let's get to be started. Here I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website and here you can see I have already installed Elementor Page Builder plugin. And if you don't know how to install it, I will provide a link in the description on how to install Elementor free version and pro version okay and to install this add-on I'm going to navigate to plugins and click on add new and here I'm going to search for the add-on and here goes our expected add-on widget plugin just click on here to install it click activate and here you can see the elements kit add-on plugin is successfully installed and activated and on the left side here you can see a menu called elements kit just click on it and here goes the dashboard and here you will have to do an important job just go to modules and make sure you have header and footer module is enabled if you do anything just make sure it is enabled and click on this save changes button so we have completed the first step successfully installed and activated the plugin so now create header and footer template to create the footer and header template just go to header and footer just click on it and here you will just create it just click on add new button and here goes the pop-up interface template setting firstly name the header just main header and type is header and here goes condition where would you like to display the header I would like to display it on the entire site and activation I'm going to activate it and hit save changes and here goes the main header so I have completed the header but I'll have to design like this okay to design like that you will have to click on edit and this time again you will see this interface and here you will see edit content if you click on edit content you will be sent to Elementor Page Builder interface. Okay, friends, here you can see EK button. Just if you click on here, you will get a lot of free blocks that comes with this add on. Okay, uh, from here you can navigate to headers and you will see lots of header options. Okay, and uh, some of most of them comes with the premium version. Here it is, you can use it with the free version. So if you click on insert and here you will see the elements kit default header template. Okay, you can use it or you can create yourself. So I'm going to close it as I'm going to create myself from the scratch. So this time I'm going to click on this plus sign to create a section and the section comes with different types of column style. I'm going to click on this one to create a navigation menu like the demo so here you can see a small column on the left here I will probably add the logo and here I will add navigation items here I will add social media icon like this okay so just click on this plus sign to open the wizards search box or panel and you don't need to search for image here it is available just grab it drag and drop here okay and I'll add this logo 
Okay, just change the image. I have already resized this logo with Photoshop. Here it is, uh, 80 by 92 pixel. So it fits automatically. From here, choose the size and alignment. Okay, and go to a style if you would like to just uh, resize using Elementor. Okay, that's fine. And go to advanced if you would like to add any padding and margin i think the default option is fine okay and from here you can just adjust the width okay now click on the right side to add the navigation search for navigation here you can see nav menu by elements kit just grab it drag and drop here and here you can see under content you will have to select the menu if you don't know how to create menu i'll provide a link of a video on my channel that shows you how to create menu okay just select the menu you would like to display here okay and go to the right and add social media icon here goes social icon I'm going to add another item and from here you can just change the shape round circle square okay and go to a style and here you can use the official color or custom color I can add any custom color like this okay fine and now increase and decrease the size okay and here it needs some padding okay to adjust the level okay just go to advance and click here to unlink and on the top add 20 pixel now it looks fine okay friends if you would like to change the color of this menu items you can do yourself just click on the plus sign and you will see the setting options available now let me show you how it will look on the mobile screen i'm going to hit update and click on preview and here it is it looks on desktop screen so let's think about the mobile screen just click on here and here you can see logo on top the menu here and social media icon i would like to just remove this column on the mobile screen or okay leave it as it is but i would like to just uh, minimize the size of this logo so click over here on edit column and here you are gonna type 50 percent and here click on this menu column and type the width 50 percent and now here you can see they are on the same row now you can just easily increase or decrease the size of the logo okay go to the style here it is now the size is adjust if you want you can hide the social media on the mobile screen just go to advanced and responsive hide on mobile hide on tablet just hit update here it is if i inspect the element go for here it is now here you can see the menu items and the logo that's perfect so friends i could show you how you can create a header like this if i reload this page here it is perfect so i have successfully created the header template so let's create the footer template okay just go to the dashboard again and go to elements kit and header and footer and again click on add new and type my footer and this one the type will be footer and entire site activate hit save changes and here goes my footer click on edit click on edit content 
and this time I'll use a default template just click on EK and go to the footer sections and this one okay I like this one just click on insert and here it is now if you click on this pencil icons you can change everything just I changed the logo you can change the text here just click on the plus sign and change the text my custom footer text click on every section and this will open up here and you can change everything yourself and go to the contact area change the address from here go to the links and change from here you can add gallery from here so everything is pretty simple just go to here on the bottom and here you can see change to here just uh, 2021 okay hit update and let me show you how it looks on mobile screen it's perfect okay and click on preview and here it is so if i reload this page here goes the header and if i scroll down here goes the footer okay pretty simple so friends probably i could show you how you can easily create a header and footer template on your wordpress website using elementor and elements kit widget that's all for today thank you and hope you liked this video don't forget to like the video and share it don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you again in a new video goodbye